someone's after you for money. I genuinely am scared of confined spaces. Welcome to the human coffin. Okay, so morning guys. So Monday morning, bit tired, busy weekend. Um, so what we're going to be doing today, I'll show you. So we're going to be first fixing um, this little um, cloakroom. So we're going to be running some soil pipe. We're going to run some copper pipe down here, um, some hot and coals down here. So let me show you. So if you see here, sorry about the flashing, um, but I think they're LED lights, aren't they? So. So we got, we got, the builders have run a soil pipe down here. So what we're going to be doing is we'll run it down here. We're going to run it in the corner here. We're going to tee it across to the toilet. And then we're going to run a Durgo up here. So we've got a Durgo valve. And then what we're going to also do is tee into that soil pipe down here uh, for a 32 mil or inch and a quarter for most people. Run it up here and into the basin so they can basically run there then put the flooring down and we'll come in then second fix. What we're also going to do is, like I say, run some hot and colds down there, through there. So let me show you where they are coming from. We hope up here, so up here, up the stairs, let me put the light on. So hopefully, hot and cold should hopefully be here. There's a bathroom there and they've taken the floors up so hopefully it's in there so that's basically basically what we got to do today so we are doing that i will get the tools in get the radio on and then we'll get going on there nice one i'll see you in a mo a few moments later oh i just got a text i'm, I'm looking to take someone on subcontract some work to someone and i just got a message and it said no demand money and I didn't read it funny, it says no demands for money, but I uh, just shut my pants thinking that someone's after me for money. Not that I believe I owe anyone money. Um, I'm not that guy. I try not to be in any type of debt or money or anything like that. But just see that, just absolutely shut my pants. <laughs> like, uh, who do I owe money to? Um, or what have I done wrong? Where's my money? Where's my money? Our soil pipe is here and here. Run it through there is difficult because of the pipe work. So we're probably going to cut it there and elbow it down, down here, right? So let me put you guys down so you can see, see what the plan is. So we can't run, we can't cut this floor up because if I cut that floor, there's no joist there. Yeah. There's not enough supporting it. So we don't really want to be cutting that. But I want to, I need to get, where's that T? So I need to get this branch or this T in like that. So into the toilet, and then we're gonna have to run up, and then a dergo up here, right? Mm. But to, I can't get into that channel because I can't cut that floor. So what we're gonna, yeah, so what we're gonna have to do is cut some of this floor up, go on underneath, and then screw it in. Then All right. It under the floorboard. Yeah. So then, we'll, so we'll put it down here and then tuck it up, pop into, that. into there, and then we'll screw it into that. Yeah. That's the way of doing that, and then we'll elbow that. We'll put that into the. So we'll put that and then elbow into the toilet. Because again, we can't get under, we can't fold yeah. it under there, right? Yeah. So that's obviously going to be a bit of an issue. So what we're going to have to do, we'll have to cut this floor up here. Yeah, so we can get our four inch in there and then poke it in and then plug it in. So we're going to be a bit under the floor, but there's a lot of gap under there. So if in doubt, we could even, we could probably even get, we could probably even get under there, yeah. I reckon you could get under there, yeah. So... The... Potentially, I've been on a diet. Well, actually, my diet's been bad recently, so um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Right, I am now going to get under there, which I am not going to lie, I don't want to do. But I'm going to because I'm going to stay positive. Right, so we're going to get under there. So, oh my lord, oh my lord, I don't like spiders. And I don't. To get an SD card. Oh, it's almost full, isn't it? Mm. I know, because I did a another recording about um, something else earlier, but I might delete it. It's a bit off. Oh, I shouldn't have had that burger. <laughs> I genuinely am scared of confined spaces and spiders. This isn't something I'm going to enjoy. Okay. Okay. 
Can you see? Yeah. Right, pass it down here and I'll show you. I reckon you should take a photo. Okay, let me put the light on. Okay, so this is where we're at. So I've got to run it down there and I've got to connect into, see that pipe there? So that's what I've got to connect into and just run it. See where that hole is there, so through that gap, so that's nice. All right. Right guys, so almost done down there. Just got to um, put the waste in for the basin, which I just need to wait for the lady to get home to do that. Put the light on, a bit bright, a bit more bright. Now flashing. Okay, so here we are up here. So I'm just gonna take these floors down up to see if we got codes in here. Hopefully, hopefully, I thought it might be underneath that floor downstairs, but Sadly, we can't get, we can get underneath the hallway, but we can't get underneath the kitchen, which is a bit of a bummer, but obviously that's an extension. So just gonna take these up. That room is directly below this anyway, so shouldn't be too bad. So let's take these floors up, which they've already been up. So should, as you can see, should be fairly simple. Apart from this bit here. So. Yeah, here we are. Here we go. No, it doesn't look great because they're, they're heating pipes. Because the way you know people go, well, how do you know which one's which? But like, you narrow it down. So for example, these are heating pipes because I just flicked the heating on. So that's where they are. So the pipes are not under there. That's not good. The bathroom is just behind you, so it's got to be in here somewhere. It's got to be. Okay, I think I figured it out. So, you know, one eternity later and all that rubbish. So, shower is there, right? So they come down this wall, yeah? So there's two pipes here, hot and cold. They must be hot and cold, which the way you can know that, run the hot tap, if one gets hot, that's hot. If you run the cold tap, Normally it will then start to get colder, right? So you know that it's hot and cold. But um, for example, to get to know these, obviously they're boiling hot now because I've just put the heating on because I wanted to check if they were hot. Um, so we know that I, they were cold, put the heating on, they then get hot, which obviously suggests that they're heating pipes. So it's one way of sort of narrowing down. Sometimes you just go under the floor and it's like a spaghetti junction, but that's the one way. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut this here, here and along here. So then hopefully I can get in there I'll try to put like a crimp fitting on it or something like that. If not, I'll have to maybe use a bit of speed fit or something like that, which we try not to use too much of it, but sometimes you have no option. So we'll see. And I need to see where that room is below here. Cause we've then got to drop down into that base, into that cloak room. So I will see you again in a bit, which I've said a hundred times, by the way. Right guys, so this is what we've done. So as you can see, waste is in for the toilet. So we've got the toilet waste in, we've got our Durgo in. Obviously that needs to be vented as well and accessible. We've got a cold feed down, as you can see. Cold feed for the toilet, boiler fix valved off. That obviously runs underneath, underneath there, which was a nightmare. And then we've got hot and colds in there. Again, run down, connected in there. We've got obviously our waste, which then connects into the soil pipe underneath there. And we've also got, so we've got our two pipes that run up, up there, which again, obviously all of this is gonna be decorated and plastered and that. So we need the floor down and then we will connect up the sink and all that. So that is pretty much everything done. I'll see you next time.